Okay, you all know this. Living in South Florida provides us a few guarantees like sunshine, beaches, traffic, and these guys, iguanas. Whether you love or hate these little dinosaurs, one thing is for sure, there are just too many taking over our shared spaces. And this morning I want to introduce you to one interesting character taking a swipe at this species. I can see some climbing in this in this tree right here. Meet Raj. Um, well, Raj. Uh, hmm. You can see right here all the drag marks from tails. See that? Just call him the iguana man. This is an iguana catch pole. We have a fishing pole, and then we have like this little homemade snare. For the last four years, this animal lover from Trinidad and Tobago. Look how beautiful green this female iguana is right here. Look at that color. You can kind of see why they were popular in the pet trade. Has been removing these overpopulated reptiles that are overrunning South Florida. We got a big one. Oh, we got one of the big daddies we've been looking for, guys. He runs a pest control service for lizards. And today he trapped four of these big guys on this Sunrise property. These iguanas right here, guys, uh, they are going to be euthanized humanely. We follow all the FWC guidelines. For all of my animal lovers out there like me, these iguanas are beautiful. Some of you have them as pets. But like many of the invasive species here in South Florida, this problem has gotten out of control. So Raj, like many other islanders and South Americans, has a solution for the population problem. In fact, it's right here on his YouTube page. Got the iguana we just dropped inside the car. Eat what you kill. Not only are we removing the invasive yeah, iguanas out of the ecosystem, 18, but we want to actually utilize them as a resource for food. Many South Floridians tasting a bite of gator have said it tastes like chicken. Well, iguanas are sometimes called the chicken of the trees. Oh, pole broke. It's okay, but we got an iguana. As Raj grabs another one, he reminds us, do not try this at home, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're trying to tail whip you, right? If you, if you catch them, they can try clawing you. But the worst thing an iguana can do is bite you. I'm JC Birch, your animal advocate for Local 10 News. Oh, I know plenty of you are having problems with iguanas out there. So you can always seek out a pest control company, much like the Iguana Man, or you can deal with the invasive species yourself. But make sure you follow all the FWC guidelines. We have linked that website on our website at local10.com.